Uh oh. Uh oh. Houston, I think you have a problem. Oh, phew, I did pack my lunch. Hey everybody, it's BC here, and welcome back to another episode of The Planet Crafter. And that's a few times now I've heard that, where I've walked by this one spot and hear like a door opening or something. So I'm kind of wondering if there's something underground that I don't know about. But anyways, as you can see, I am back at the ship here. I have loaded up myself with some food and water and oxygen. And let's continue our exploration. I'd like to find some more iridium so I can go ahead and make another... Already? Oh yeah, I was going to go and... Uh my little habitat there, but I forgot. Anyway, so I wanted to see if I could find some more iridium for uh, another heater. So this is where the scroll wheel comes in handy. Let's take this part, get a little more iron. And then we go in here and see what we can find. What do we have in here? Uh, well, inventory. Oh, yeah, I don't want to deconstruct. Yeah. Uh, why did it say full inventory can't deconstruct? I have no idea take the food anyways uh that is that what do we have over here uh i've been looking at the the blueprint menu there and uh, we're going to be getting something unlocked at around 1200 ti so we'll see what we get i can't remember what it was um i know there's other things i want to start working on is like getting an indoor ladder so i can expand the base a little bit Ooh, take that iridium fabric more food aluminum okay uh, I know there's another wreck over that way direction somewhere that we could have gone to to get the aluminum, but I don't know if we could actually get it here. And, oh, look, another heater. We got anything else in here? No, I could take that apart too. Uh, do I have inventory space? No, I do not. I love it when that happens. All right, well, let's do that. Uh, pick up the uranium. Uh, I'm sorry, how do I... Ah, yeah. Deconstruct mode. Uh, no inventory space, of course. Uh, probably use some water here pretty soon. Is there anything else I needed out of that? No. Could probably even drop the iron if I needed to. Uh, let's go try not to get lost in here. Ooh, a mail. And yes, there is a fusion reactor. Um, apparently each one of these ships has one of these, but... Uh, I don't know what they do, but I have seen you can actually craft the fuel at some point in time. But let's go ahead and read someone's mail. Uh, mach machinery log to 436 this morning as we escape, as we are in our 17th days of space travel to Stigmar, the ship, the ship inexplicably, inexplicably exited hyperspace velocity, the navigation tools went crazy and all the ship's power went down as if it was drained by something exterior. Uh, we are going to try to make an emergency landing on this unreported planet. I'm not sure what we'll find here, find there. There seems to have a huge storm on the surface. As I'm reading this, I hope we'll make it. Okay. Alright, what do we have in here? We have a chip. Oh! Uh, oh! We're missing it, we're missing it, we're missing it. Uh, uh, yes, this is how uh, stuff respawns in this world. Uh, let's see if I can get out in time. Come on, come on, I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. I don't want to miss it. Aha! Yes! This is how stuff gets respawned. We get meteor showers. Uh, like I said, I don't know if this actually causes damage, but as you can see, I just saw some you know, cobalt drop there. And this is what we put up with every, I don't know, hour in gameplay or whatever. Very destructive. I have seen it hit my base in the prologue, but it didn't do any damage as far as I know. But that is cool. You gotta love little features like that, but yeah, this is actually all new stuff here. Anyways, uh, let's go back in, because uh, there was a chip in there I found. Um, hmm. Hmm, hmm, hmm. Guess I didn't really need all that food. Uh, what else can I drop? I can actually drop that. And drop the iron, because that stuff's all common. Okay, let's go back in and see what else we can find here. See if we can find it where I was. Uh running outside quickly. Normally you try to run inside for a meteor shower. This one I was running outside for. It. Okay, so I was in here. Let's see what else I can find. Uh, let's see. 
Uh, you have seeds, iridium. I might actually take that. Uh, don't, can't grow anything yet, so I won't take that. So then you find these two, which are special seeds, which, as you can see, an oxygen multiplier. And that's what I came in here for. That and the aluminum, which I didn't actually know was here. Uh, I will have to use some oxygen. Uh, okay, so we're good there. What's in here? Ooh, uranium. And a microchip, that's what I came here for. I got that thing too. Um, 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 hmm. Guess we don't need the food. Well, we do, but uh, not at this moment. Oh, more aluminum. Uh, you're not making this easy, are you? Okay, we'll put some iridium back. I want to make those agility boots. And then what was in here? Another microchip. <sighs> okay, fine. We eat. And then I guess we go back. Alright, uh, I'll meet you back at the little hub outside. I'll set up another blueprint terminal so I can detail these chips. Wow, it got dark. That actually looks really cool. I've never seen that planet before. It's always so dark or so bright and hazy here. Uh, I did get enough stuff. I had to eat a bunch of stuff, use a bunch of stuff, drop some stuff. Uh, but we can go ahead and we can build a blueprint screen. So I'm going to do that. I did unlock um, solar panels too. So we have that now. What was that? Oh, I don't know. All right. So decode a chip. What does that give me? That gives me mining speed tier two. Uh, another one gives me agility boots tier two. And it gives me living compartment corner. Okay. So tier two boots. I don't even have tier one boots. I need a lot of fabric for that. Of course I do. And mining speed needs magnesium, silicone, and aluminum. Okay, I'm not too worried about that stuff. Uh, I could use some more inventory space. Uh, hmm. We've got enough of the heaters, got that. I would like to find some more fabric. Um, and I'm running low on supplies, of course. Uh, let me go in there and see if I can find anything interesting and I'll find some more fabric. And I'm back with a whole bunch of goodies too. I found, went ran back in, they found a chest, got some more aluminum, more fabric, so I should be able to produce all this stuff. Or, um, craft it, yes. Uh, I do need inventory space, so let's put that ar you know, uranium away. Uh, oh, I had fabric in there too. Uh, hmm. Mm hmm, 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 hmm. Okay, we do that then. Uh, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, iron. Uh, so I can make another chest. Uh, yeah, or a storage container. Can I stack these? I can. Ooh. Or will it let me stack it? No. That's a shame. Alright, so let's go in here and put uh, that away, that away for now. Uh, let's go ahead and make these agility boots first. So let's go ahead and make a tier one. Okay, so that gives me improved movement speed, which isn't highly noticeable, but it's there. Uh, I need super alloys for that, but I don't can't make the super alloy until I get the Bent's Crafter, which we haven't unlocked yet. So there is that. Uh, let's go ahead and get these done, too. Uh, I guess we don't really need to. We need super alloy, too. Anyway, uh, let's see where we're at with our uh, production. So, as I said, I got the solar panels already. Uh, the next backpack is a 2500. Okay, so indoor lad is what I want to do is for the oxygen. We'll get there eventually. Uh, that's just to put stuff on floors that we don't need access to. And then we got to start generating heat as well. Uh, we're actually getting the veggie tube tier 2 pretty quick. Uh, what I can do, and we can take this one out and put that one in there. So we produce oxygen a lot faster. Uh, as you can see, we're doing 0.23 now instead of 0.15. And... Yeah, so now let's go ahead and start making another heater. Iron and silicone. Iron, silicone. And we'll place another heater down. This just generates heat faster, so we terraform quicker. And then we'll be getting a second uh, veggie tube pretty soon here. At 500, as soon as the heat goes up. Uh, another, pr pr another drill at 1200. Uh, let's actually go build a couple of drills while we're waiting. Take some iron out. We'll run out of here, actually. We're going to the solar panel. Cobalt and silicone. Guys, I'm going to run out of power if I do this. Uh, no cobalt, no silicone. Alright. Let's go explore. 
And there's a whole bunch of stuff in the back here I never pick up. Okay, what, what did I need? Uh, cobalt, yes. The shiny blue rocks. Oh, not the ones in Minecraft. Alright, we grab that. Might as well grab a couple more. We'll make a few of them just for the hell of it. Alright, I got that. I need silicone. Silicone. Grab another cobalt. Uh, what do you mean inventory full? Hmm. Oh, I didn't put stuff away. I go and make that chest. I didn't put anything in it. Okay. So, we'll go run back over here. Uh, solar panel. Can I place them on the wall? That's what I'm wondering. Uh, no, but I can place it on the ground. Hmm. Put it here for now. Alright, I was going to build two of them, but... Yeah, why not? I'm just going to find some more silicone. I want to get some more drills going and start building up some more pressure. And also get some more heaters going so we can generate more heat. And so we can terraform faster. Because even though it's only like 1.37... Uh, KTI, uh, from what I've seen in the, the blueprint window, it goes up to giga terraform index numbers. Oh, significantly higher than what it is. Uh oh. Uh oh. Uh. Alright. Crisis averted. Silicone. Here we go. It's a shame everything looks the same at a distance. Okay. Uh, let's go ahead and queue that up. We'll run over here. And I'll just stick it here for now, because we're going to be building bigger ones eventually. Okay, now drill. Titanium. Titanium, titanium. Gotta be some titanium around somewhere, because I never pick it up. Iron. Iron. There's titanium. Grab that, we'll grab that. And we'll go over to the, the mine yard here. The temporary mine yard. Drill yard, whatever. Place a few more of these down. Uh, there, and, and one more iron. Iron, 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 iron. Oh hello. Right in front of me. Okay, and get that. So now that's gonna start producing uh, a lot more pressure into the system, so terraform index. Terraformation index is going to go up a lot faster. Uh, as you can see, we're generating 0.6 heat. Or, yeah. Oh, 0.6 pressure. 0.6 heat, because we got the second heat generator. And more oxygen. So what I'll do is, because i got the tier 2 veggie tube now, we need 2 ice, iron, magnesium, silicone. Iron, magnesium... Uh, okay, so I need silicone and ice. Let me go grab that and I'll be right back. My god. It just gets better and better. You know, that's how to build more of those. It's almost like a proton accelerator warming up or something. But anyways, I do have enough to build this now, so let's go ahead and build this. I have probably gonna run out of power. Or maybe not, so that's good. Now, where was that other seed? There we go. Put that one in here. And that's going to start producing a lot more oxygen. Look at that. Oxygen's up to two parts per quad quintillion, I guess. Quintillion, quadrillion, whatever. Either way, we're generating a lot of pressure. I could probably get another heater down, too. Uh, just because iron and more silicone. Ugh. This is the part where I do some resourcing and I bring you back when I'm done. Oh, look. It's raining again. How nice. Gift from the gods. Oh, what do you know? Backpack tier 3. And just in time, too. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm uh, got, gathering up a little bit of ice and magnesium. I want to make a second uh, veggie tube because I want to start building more heaters, but I want to build a second level for that. And in order to have a second level, i got to have stairs outside or an indoor ladder. I'd rather have an indoor ladder than an ugly staircase outside. Uh, so what do I need for this tier 3 backpack? Aluminum, titanium, and silicone. How much aluminum do I have? Uh, oh, I have enough. Uh, let's take the right things I need. Uh, what was it? Is that it? 
let's see, Tulunum, Titanium, Silicon, Titanium. Okay, let's put all this stuff away, because I'm going to need the inventory space. Okay, we take that off. Go over here, and we make a tier 3 backpack. I think that's bigger. I think I have an extra spot slot. Works for me. Okay, so we'll take that. I gotta go... I wanted to build two heaters. Uh, actually, no, I want the veggie tube. Tier 2. Uh, yeah. Do that. Oh, there's the indoor ladder right there. Ha. Ah. Okay, let's take uh, you out. Uh, let's actually de deconstruct you. Oh. Yeah. I was trying to deconstruct the living compartment. Alright, and we go ahead and put that back in here. And now our oxygen should be going up very high. As you can see, it's 3.6 right now. Alright, so I got the indoor ladder. So what I want to do is go ahead and build... Or living compartments, which I need titanium for, of course. Uh, need titanium for everything. Someone left a piece of iron on my doorstep, might as well take it. Now, titanium, titanium, titanium. More iron here. Yes, you can tell us the stuff that just fell. It was quite the storm, as you can see, bringing lots of resources from the skies. Grab that, and uh, that. Okay. So, I don't know how, really how I want to do this. Uh, I might have multiple levels. Uh, I can have, like, heat generation on one level. Is that centered? Yes, it is. Okay, and then we'll do another one here. And for now, now I need an indoor ladder. I need cobalt. Uh, no cobalt. Might as well clean up the front yard a little bit while I'm here. Okay, so we go in here and... It's like the subnautical ladder where you just click on it and it takes you up. You don't get to walk in animation or anything like that. So I'm going to put it right here for now, I think. So I can go up and then we get up in here and I can build more living compartments or I can start putting windows up here too as well. Uh, I will get more living compartments. I will need more iron and more titanium and I will be right back. Okay, I am back. Let's turn that off. Let's go up here. So I will place two more compartments here and that should work. Okay, one there and we'll do another one here. And as you can see, I have some cobalt on me actually there. I will need to grab a little bit more iron. But let's put some windows in here just because. We can, at least we can watch some meteor showers as we're doing our thing up here. Okay. Oh, no, not there. Uh, there and... I need more iron, so we'll finish that. I can also put them up in the ceiling, too. Or, not these ones, but we can get some. And tier 2 heater. Ooh, just in time, too. Iron, aluminum, silicone, yes. That's more resource than we gotta do. Okay, so let's head back downstairs and see where we're at. Uh, so we're at 4,000 4, 4, now. So we got the, the tier 2, tier 3 backpack. Uh, solar panels next, and that's going to be a little ways away yet for that one. Uh, we just got the heater, which as you can see uses all, a lot of power. And this will be sort of show us this data progress, like it's going to show how far we are to blue screen, blue sky, which we're working on right now. And then after that, it's going to be clouds, and then I don't know what else after that. This is just what I saw in my previous world. And the drill is actually going to be going up pretty soon, too. So, there is that. Uh, let me check the recording time here and see what we'll do. Okay, I was just looking at that. We do have a little bit of time, so I think what we'll do is maybe we'll start venturing, venturing this way. Uh, we'll go to the second wreck site, because I don't think there's too much else up there I can grab. Uh, I'm going to do the same thing, too. I'm going to grab a couple pieces of iron, a titanium, and silicone along the way. And build myself a little shelter when we get there. Uh, so, actually, I think I need that, but whatever. And we will go up here. Grab a few more pieces as we go. As you can see, I got water and food and oxygen on me. Uh, okay, I just need a few more pieces of iron, so we are good. Now, I don't know how exactly how much there is to explore. Uh, I have heard, like I said, that there's quite a bit. So, as you can see, there's another wreck site there. There's another biome over here. Uh, I have 
explored some areas. Uh, there's a cave system in here too. Uh, this is actually where we can find uh, the iridium and I think we can find aluminum in there as well. But we'll go check that out later. But let's go over and check this one out because this is where we find the good stuff like the, the super alloys and the fabrics and stuff before we can actually craft it. Okay, so we are coming up here. Eventually. A long, slow trek over here. Need to get those agility boot upgrades again. Uh, I also wonder if there's like things that we can explore here. Because as you can see, it's all like there's, there's, there's blah, it's almost like there's a bridge over there we can get onto something. I haven't actually checked it. Or, I have been there. I haven't really seen much on it, but... Uh, it is there. I haven't seen found a way to get on it yet, but I think because now we have a jet, we can get jetpacks in the game that might be able to fly up there. Again, I don't know what's going to be up there, but we will find out. And aluminum. Something so common, so cheap in this world, and I finally find it. Okay. Oh, more uranium. Oh, let's, uh, let's take that, shall we? And we got drill tier two now. Good. Isn't it funny we make it all the way over here? My inventory is full already. Yeah, we'll just pop in here. Let's, uh, let's eat. And let's go explore, shall we? Now, I, I was actually thinking about it. If we uh, actually power these things up, can we actually fly them? Are they flyable? Or is this just like the crash, they're here for good sort of deal? Okay, let's see what we can find in here. Fabric, good. More iridium. Why not? Uh, anything in here? I don't think you can find anything there. They just stole away the blue, blue things. So then we get these ones too, which actually produce more oxygen than those ones there. So we'll grab those, and it'll help speed up our terraformation progress. And another, blue, uh, another blueprint chip. Cool. Okay, uh, let's see. See what else you can find in here. Like so. I don't I hold the button even though I don't really need to. Okay. More fabric, more aluminum, another one of those seeds. We'll get rid of the iron, don't really need it right now. And uh fill up an oxygen in a minute. Let's go make sure I get out of here too. Don't get lost or get trapped in here. Yeah, I've already been there. And let's see what we have in here. Another heater. I don't really need it because I have the iridium on me already. Okay. Let's see if there's anything else we can find. Is that all there is in this one? Is there like no more extra passages we can go into? Uh, okay. Make some inventory space. Why not? Maybe we can open the doors when we power this thing up. Don't really know. Uh, I don't know if those are going to be like a potential hazard down the road. Uh, why will? Why not? Let's go and uh, see what's over here. Hey, okay, we'll deconstruct that. Deconstruct that. Get some extra iron. Ooh, boxes. Oh, aluminum. Hmm. Let's take the aluminum. Squash seeds. Oh, super alloy. Uh, we can drop off the water with the super alloy. Uh, don't have the food grower yet. Almost want to take that. Hmm. Let's take the squash seeds. No use for them at this moment, but it'll come in handy. Uh, I'd like to take that extra fabric. But. Uh, get rid of that. Okay. Well, that was a quick trip. I'll meet you back at the base. Okay, I'm almost back. And by the base, I mean the main base, which apparently needs more windows. And I was looking at it. You notice this guy's changing? It's a little more on the greener side now. And that's because we're terraforming. Uh, I have... I think, I think I mentioned I have messed around with the... the there's a grass seed grower that... We can build an event goes outside and has a radius and starts growing grass over time, which is pretty cool. All right, so um, what did I want to do? Well, I got all this stuff. Got another blue chip to decode. Let's see what we got. Recycling machine. 
Ooh, that's a new one. Uh, breaks down objects into their, to their components. Oh, so things like uh, uh, agility boots and backpacks and stuff like that. Okay. Alright, so that is that. Uh, let's actually go ahead and build this. I need silicon, iron, and titanium. That's what we'll do, is we'll swap these out. Let's start producing more oxygen. Okay, let's do that. And then titanium, I needed iron and silicone. Uh, not in there. Not in there. Actually, it's... Uh, Actually, we can make those agility, agility boots here too, can't we? Let's see. One more super alloy. Is it worth it? I think so. We'll find it. We'll find them, I should say. Okay. So, 30% movement, movement speed? Oh, that's noticeable. Okay, yeah, and I got a tier 3 backpack as well. I need silicone for that. Is it tier 3? Oh yeah, I have tier 3. Never mind. What else did I unlock? I think that was it. Well, let's see. Here we tell us in here. Oh yeah, the tier 2, tier two drill. And... Uh, titanium and iron. Need a lot of power for that though. Yeah, we can handle it. Let's go do that. Uh, let me get us some titanium iron. Titanium, iron... Uh, I need some cobalt to get some more solar panels going. But let's go get this big drill up. Alright, so I need titanium. One titanium, one iron. Sorry for che constantly checking what I need all the time. My memory's getting old and uh, I'm getting weak to, with uh, age. Just like everything else, apparently. Iron and titanium. I tell you, this stuff's everywhere when you don't need it. It's never there when you do. But when you need, to, need iron, you find cobalt everywhere. What do we have in here? Uh, I'll take the silicone, I guess, and the cobalt, just because it's there. And titanium. Where is titanium? That's close by, I should say. Oh. <laughs> Gotta be here somewhere. There's titanium. No, that's iron. I know. I'll stop the recording. I'll find it right away. Oh. Well, that didn't work, but I did find the titanium, of course. It's not like there's... It's not scattered all over the, all over the land, but here is the tier 2 drill. So this is a little bit bigger. Uh, there is one that is much bigger, and that's going to start producing a lot more heat and a lot more noise. Okay, so there is that. Okay, what was the next one? Uh, oh yeah, the, the tier 2 heater. Now, what did I need for that? I needed... Uh, titanium 9. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Uh, I just had to put the rest of the windows on up here while I'm at it. And I have a feeling I'm going to have to build more power. I'm going to place this. It's going to use up. Oh, I think I'll have enough. Alright, uh, tier 2 heater, wait. Did I already produce and build one of these? No, I didn't. Okay. Well, let's go place one right up in the corner here, then. Because we don't really need to access these machines so they can stay up here out of the way. So that is generating a lot of heat. Which means we are terraforming much, much, much faster. Alright, oxygen, there's the heat there, and that. Okay, uh, one of the things that I got unlocked was a tier 3 tank, so let's see what we need for that. Iron, silicone. Okay, uh, let me go grab the iron and silicone, and then I will return. Okay, I have that. So let's take that off. Just in time for the progress screen. Alright, so craft that. Now put that on, it gives me 280 now on the oxygen, which is actually pretty good. So a progress screen. Let's build another desk. Do I have enough for it? No, I don't, of course. And yes, uh, for the next episode, I'll make sure I do a whole bunch of resource gathering and collect all this stuff beforehand so I'm not running back and forth. Oh, I need this, I need that, I need this, I need that. Uh, the only thing is, though, is uh, as I play, I am slowly increasing that terraformation index. Oh, hello, I'll take everything, thank you. And I'll even take the box, too. 
extra iron just because. And, uh, I don't want to do too much offline work because everything gets unlocked. Uh, the world around me is going to change, like the atmosphere and things like that. Alright, so let's go ahead and put uh, another desk here. And this would be sort of like a little information center. That center, or street, I should say. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. Oh, of course, it has to be a big one. Anyway, so there we go. Current stage, barren. Next stage, blue sky. We're at 6.1%. Yeah, it's going to take a while. Uh, especially when we get into here. And let's go to terraformation. So we're at 10.8 KTI. We go over here, the fu uh, fusion energy cell unlocks at 578 giga terra giga ti. So that's a little ways away. So as you can see, there's a lot of stuff: tree spreader, water filters, uh, DNA manipulator. That's where it starts getting interesting. So it's gonna be quite fun to see where things get. Uh, we're getting close to the food growers, which means I'll be able to self-sustain eventually. And there's a beacon soon. Uh, 5,000, that's just so I can find my way home or go to points of interest and whatnot. And then what's the next unlock here? Solar panel tier 2 at 1750. So I've got some time to do some stuff offline before things start getting too unlocked. So that's what I'm going to do. Uh, why does it seem dark in here? Dark outside? It is too. Oh well. That seems weird. I didn't realize that. Uh, yeah, so uh, what, that's what I do between now and the next episodes. I'm going to fill up a few chests full of supplies and we'll start progressing a little bit more. But anyways, I thank you all so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, don't forget to leave me a like. And as always, I'll see you in the next one. Later. Green spot. It looks like a wolf head. See the mouth here. Go up here with the